can tell you why you benefit. I don't follow anybody. <laughs> and when I'm on social media, it's only to it's only to present what I created. So instead of consume, I produce. Instead of consume, I produce. So I only go on social media once in a while when it's time to produce something. And I never follow anything. And I will tell you one of the biggest distractions is TikTok. <laughs> I avoided TikTok until recently. And I find myself consuming, and it's stifling my creativity. So guess what's going to be gone? And I do know it's important to listen to what you're not hearing in mainstream media, but why is it important? You don't have to take them home, you don't have to feed them, you don't have to clothe them, you don't have to shelter them. So why is it important? If it's not a part of your world, then it's not important. So, Produce instead of consume. Unfollow everybody. I know everybody's going to be really ticked off because they're not going to have any followers now. But if you unfollow everything, every person, and just follow causes that you like, I follow all the causes that have to do with, um, you know, the environment and conservation. I follow those things so that I know what's going on with, with the environment, and that's all I follow. Did that help? So me personally, uh, ever since I was younger, I always feel like that's more on the masculine side. I fell in the house with men, so I feel like that also kind of like that. But like, growing up, it was always like adults telling me like, oh, you should try to dress more feminine. And like, I would try to appeal to them and try to wear like dresses and stuff. I hate it. It felt like so awkward and like I hated it. And even now, like, as And look within. I'm like, you know, we have a pretty cool culture where we can we can make as many ribbon dresses as we want and many different styles, and and it's acceptable. But we also, because we also hunt as females, and we also go fishing as females, and my husband and I own a ranch. You know, I have my boots and I have my jeans and I have my and my denim shirts and wear two braids, and it's because I want to. And when you stick to doing something that is a part of your authentic, authentic self, no one can say anything. No one does say anything. And stop looking for validations from others. Be free. Once you, once you are aware of that spirit that's holding you back from your authentic self, it can no longer exist. So you are looking for 
Um, you're looking for your parents to be happy with you, but you can't feel their happiness. You can only feel your happiness on the inside. You can only feel your happiness. Explain a powwow. A powwow, every outfit is different. There's no one ever has two of the same, no one ever has anything the same. So my leather dress was made in 1980, and I still add pieces to it, the one that you saw in the reserve. I, I still put pieces on that, and I still wear that, and I make it different, and I add more pieces. Nothing is the same, no one is the same. And that's what's acceptable to us. So you can imagine when my kids went to school and they started introducing uniforms, how that went against the cultural constraints of things. And you met, my daughter was at the thing, and she, and she would you know, paint her shoes and wear big earrings and get suspended. Because she had to be different. She could not feel like she had to be the same in the uniform way as everybody else. And that is one of the that is one of the things that society puts on us. They want us to be uniform because that's the control. Once you take that control or that uniformity off of your own self, then you become creative. And once you become authentically creative in yourself, there are no more judgments. Because the judgment doesn't matter because that person is feeling the judgment, not you. So your feelings are your feelings. You feel happy. You feel satisfied. You feel like your authentic self, not what other people feel about you. You can't feel their feelings. They may be angry, the whole room is full of anger or something. You just leave the room and the anger stays with them. Still, <laughs> you still think you're puzzled. Okay, okay so part two, okay. <laughs> You're not doing it to get likes or, you know, you're not doing it to, you're not doing it to be in the opposite of. So that's very dangerous also. So, you know, you want to you wanna go to be the opposite of whoever's in the room so you can make a statement. But is that your authentic self? No, that's the opposite of. Show up 